Hey guys, what's up? So today we'll be checking out things that only exist in Japan. Now this video was done by Brightside. You can check the original link in the description down below. Welcome to Imperials React. My name is Marius. You can follow me on socials right here. Or you can click the links in the description down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell and turn on the notifications. And like the videos if you enjoy watching. Now let's get right to it. Things that exist only in Japan. One, square watermelons. They were invented back in the 70s by a graphic designer to fit compactly in the fridge and be cut more easily. Japanese farmers grow them in special containers to get the shape. Since they're pretty expensive, people don't buy them as food, but rather as a decorative item. Really? Two, okay. ramen noodles bath. That's the Unison Spa Resort in Hakone offers its guests the pretty unique experience of splashing around in a vat of pork soup and ramen noodles. Ramen now, this may sound bath. crazy to many people. Many? The Japanese mm -hmm. believe that soaking in such a bath is good for the skin because a broth made of pork is rich in collagen. Oh, okay. Three, bizarre flavors of Kit Kat. Chili pepper, wasabi, sweet potato, grilled corn, soybean, salt, years. watermelon, mango, green tea, and that's only a short list of the Kit Kat flavors okay. you can try in Japan. Which one would you try? Let me know down in the comments. The mango one is Fake on food. Coming. Specialists make this kind of food from plastic or wax, and it looks just as delicious as the real one. Many restaurants yeah, use fake food real. to display their popular dishes in the windows and attract hungry clients. Usually, these replicas cost much more than the dishes they imitate. 5. Rabbit Island rabbit Back in the 40s, island. scientists brought a number of rabbits to Okonoshima Island to do some tests. However, oh. later on, the animals were freed and started to multiply. Now the island is full of them and attracts a lot of tourists. That's really cute. Purakura Machines Taking photos in a booth is nothing new, but Japan added its own oh, exciting okay. twist to this experience. Their photo booths, called Purakura, allow you to edit photos right on the spot, adding different backgrounds, funny stickers, or writings. Idea. Also, you can send the pictures to your cell phone, or perhaps your toilet, if, you know, you have Wi-Fi mm -hmm. in there. You might never have to leave. 7. People Pushers Subways and train stations get really overcrowded during rush hour. That's why the station staff and part-time workers have to perform the routine procedure of pushing people yeah, no, inside trains no. to fit in as many passengers as possible before the doors That's close. Number 8. Umbrella Parking Lot Before going inside a building, you can park and lock your umbrella just like you do with your bike. Now you can be sure no one will take it, okay. and you won't make a puddle on the floor if your umbrella is wet. Many government buildings, offices, and hotels have this sort of umbrella rack. That's actually not my idea. Nine, millions of vending machines. Japan has more than 5 million of them, mostly because they save time for people who okay, work late so hours, Japan has which is a pretty common more thing. Vending machines Besides, some Japanese countries vending people. machines aren't just for snacks and soda. You can buy mm, basically anything from live lobsters okay. to underwear in these machines. 10. Tokyo's Biggest Resident In 2015, Godzilla was granted citizenship in Tokyo's Godzilla. Shinjuku Ward. Really? The authorities presented a special certificate stating his new residency okay. and also made him a job offer. Godzilla became the tourism ambassador. Later, they even installed a Godzilla head 171 feet above the ground at Toho the movie studio that made the original movie back in 1954. 11. Train delays make headlines Punctuality is a really big thing here, and train stations do everything possible to avoid a delay. If a train is five minutes late, the railway company might have to issue a delay certificate for railway workers and passengers who missed an important appointment. And if the delay is longer than an hour, then the railway company might give an official apology in newspapers. 12. Okay. Silent Karaoke This Silent is a special karaoke. microphone with a cone Why? that you place over your mouth. It muffles most of the sounds when you sing. It was designed for people who don't want to wake up their neighbors and those who feel shy about belting their favorite tunes in public. Number 13. Polite Slurping 
While in many oh, countries, that's... slurping is considered rude, yeah. in Japan, it's a way to show your appreciation of the dish. If yeah. you don't slurp when you eat noodles, then the chef will think that you don't enjoy the food or that it's cold. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's good awkward. noodles. 14. Face napkins. <laughs> When you eat a burger, it's never pretty because your mouth gets covered in ketchup or mustard. So Owners of one fast food restaurant found a solution to this by serving burgers together with special napkins. They cover the faces of guests who feel a bit embarrassed about looking messy while eating. Okay. 15. Water-saving sinks. They're located right over the toilet tanks. The idea is simple. First, you mm. wash your hands over the sink. Then the sink water goes straight into the toilet tank, and finally, you flush the toilet when you've done your business. So, you save water by using it twice. Aren't you glad they don't do it the other way? Mm. Number 16. Strange okay. mayo. No, Japanese mayo doesn't Very have mayo. any special recipe or ingredient. But they don't eat it with salads, meat, or sandwiches. In Japan, People usually use it as a topping for ice cream or on pancakes. Mmm, a chocolate sundae with mayo. <laughs> nothing better. Really good. 17. Naps at work. In Japanese culture, dozing off at the workplace, or in a muri, is considered a sign of being a hard-working person who is very committed to their job. That's why in a muri is so common, and no one thinks it's a bad thing. Some people fun. even fake it. Okay. 18. World's shortest escalator. You can shortest. find it in the basement of Moore's department store, which is located in the city of Kawasaki. The escalator Why? has only five steps and is only 33 inches tall. Really? Well, that's one small step for a man. Okay. 19. Canned that's food restaurant. Movie. Eating canned food may not sound like a delicious treat for you, but there's a whole I'm chain cool. of restaurants oh, yeah. all over the country where they serve only canned food. They're pretty popular, since clients can choose from 300 varieties you know of food from all coming. across the world. 20. Doll Village The village of Nagoro used to have a population of 300 people, but less than 40 residents live there now. A local artist, Tsukumi Ayano, made over 300 life-size dolls, most of which look like former residents, creepy. and they're located in various states of action. For okay. example, there's a whole classroom of them in the village school yeah, that, that was closed creepy. a while ago. Number 21. No fours. It's no common fours. for Japanese culture to avoid the number four because it's considered to be very unlucky. Oh, okay. That's why some buildings don't have a fourth floor. Stores don't sell a set of cutlery for four, and the number of guests to some event can't be That's four. 22. Blue traffic light. They use a blue color instead of green for traffic lights. The okay. reason for that hides in their language. Historically, there was only one word for both colors. When traffic lights first appeared in the country, mm. they were as green as anywhere else. But that green color was still called blue. To make things right, the government decided to use the bluest shade of green possible. Okay? okay. 23. Cleaning classes. Japanese kids learn how to clean in many schools because it's a part of their education. Awesome. They mop their classrooms and hallways, everywhere. do dusting, and even clean yeah. the bathrooms. Teachers believe it's a great way to raise responsible citizens. Yeah. 24. Foot bath train. Take the Tsudoi tourist train to get the most comfortable sightseeing experience. This train has foot baths built of aromatic cypress okay. wood and filled with warm spring water that can soothe the pain in your joints. So, you can soak your feet and enjoy beautiful views at the same time while traveling from Nagoya to Yonoyama Onsen. 25. Futuristic Toilets Toilets in Japan are very high-tech. To use one, a person should know what all those buttons are for. There's a variety of functions, including heating the seat, spraying warm water to clean the user up, really and even everywhere. playing music. All they're missing is a refrigerator. Wow, who'd ever want to leave their toilet? 26. Crazy ice cream flavors. The Japanese love weird food combos. That's why finding an ice cream flavored with horse meat, cactus, charcoal, squid ink, garlic, or chicken wings won't okay, be a problem here. Like 27. Space-saving parking lots. Since Japan is a densely populated country, they don't like to waste space. That's why their parking lots have a smart system. That's awesome. They're designed like okay. multi-level garages. 28. Robot-run hotel. 
In a hotel in Nagasaki, what? robots are a big part of its staff. It's called the henna, which translates as strange. The human-like androids meet the guests, Euphoria. clean the rooms, carry luggage, make coffee, and even smile. However, real people work there too to recharge the robots and supervise how they perform their oh, duties. Okay. 29. Cafe Companion Sitting alone in a cafe and enjoying your coffee and food is common for most people around the world. But in the land of the rising sun, what? you'll get a huge, plush moomin to sit next to you in one of the cafes, so you don't have but to do be alone. But do you have to buy the plush food too? No, that's a good question. Hmm. Or maybe it had fake food? Or... That was really interesting. Okay guys, so that was things that only exist in Japan. I've really enjoyed this video. Japan is one of my favorite countries. I really hope to visit it someday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe. And see you all next time. Hello.